testifying. A silent hush grew over the audience as Mr. Tate gave his testimony. Everyone, especially the jury, paid very close attention. In your own words, Mr. Tate. I was touched by Bob, Mr. Bob Ewell yonder, one night. And what night was that, sir? It was the night of November 21st. I was just leaving my office to go home when Mr. Ewell came in. Very excited he was and said to come home quick. Some nigger raped his girl. Mr. Tate finished his testimony and then was asked, to question by Atticus. Did you call a doctor? Did anybody call a doctor? No, sir. Didn't call a doctor? No, sir. Why not? Well, I'll tell you why I didn't. It wasn't necessary, Mr. Finch. She was mighty banged up. Something should have happened. It was obvious. But you didn't call a doctor. While you were there, didn't send for one? Didn't fetch one? Didn't carry his person one? No, sir. He's answered this question three times now, Atticus. He did not call a doctor. I just wanted to make sure, Judge. Atticus continued to question Mr. Tate, asking about injuries Mr. Ewell's daughter revived that night. Her arms were burst and she showed me her neck. There were definite finger marks on her gullet. Around her throat? At the back of her neck? I would say all around, Mr. Finch. You would? Yes, sir. Anybody, she had a small throat. Anybody could have reached around her with After no more further questions, next, Mr. Gilmer called Mr. Yule to the stand. Mr. Robert Yule, that's the name, Captain. Is it true that you're the father of Mayella Yule? Yes, sir. And can you tell us in your own words what happened in the evening of November 21st? Mr. Yule begins to explain how he was coming back from hunting when he heard his daughter screaming. When he looked in through the window, he found none other than Tom Robinson raping his daughter. After Mr. Gilmer was done questioning him, Atticus also had a few questions for Mr. Yule. Folks were doing a lot of running that night. Let's see. You ran inside, you ran to the window, you ran outside, you ran to Miela, you ran for Mr. Tate, then during all this running, run for a doctor? Well, no need to. I see what happened. Weren't you concerned for Miela's condition? I most possibly was. I see who did it. No, I mean her physical condition. Did you not think that the nature of her injuries warranted immediate medical attention? What? Didn't you? Didn't you think she should have had a doctor immediately? I never thought of that. Even if I did, it wouldn't cost me five dollars. That all? Not quite. Atticus then began to ask Mr. Yule the same questions that he had asked Mr. Tate about the injuries that Mayella received that night, making sure that he agreed to the fact that Mayella's right eye was blackened. Mr. Yule, can you read and write? Objection! Can't see what <coughs> witnesses literacy has to do with this case. Irrelevant. Judge, if you allow a question plus one other one, you will see. One. All right, let's see, but make sure that we see Atticus. Overall. <coughs> can you read and write? I most positively can. Can you show us? I most positively will. How do you think I signed my relief checks? Would you write your name clearly now so that the jury can see it? What's so interesting? You're left-handed. With that last statement, Atticus dismissed Mr. Yule. However, Mr. Gilmer had one more question. About writing with your left hand, Mr. Yule, are you perhaps ambidextrous? I'm most positive I'm not. I can write with one hand just as good as the other. We got him, we got him. <laughs> well, no need to. I see what happened. Were you concerned for me, Ellis? Five dollars. That all, I don't know how you word it. Sorry, when you read it in the script. I forgot my whole line. <laughs> Mister. <laughs> Mister Yule. One. Objection. Um. Objection. Can't. Dang. Can't. What night was that, sir? It was the night of November twenty-first, two thousand and eighteen. Very excited. Angry Gresham, please come to the main office. Angry Gresham. Really? Really?